Hi everyone good to see you again all I hope you all will be fine. The economic advisor to the Prime Minister, Maza Mohammad Saleh, said today, Saturday, that Iraq is experiencing a high state of economic stability. Sala told Earth News Agency, the country is living in a high state of economic stability as a result of the approval of the general budget law and the launch of new projects and businesses in its various aspects, and that the budget law has already touched a positive income added to more than a million citizens between new jobs and an expansion of social welfare, with high determination to maintain support programs in the range of fuel, agriculture and the food basket. Sala added, the launch of the Spark for service work across the country and on a large scale has led to the activation of the business sector and the labor market at the same time, especially in combating unemployment. Sala pointed out that, construction activity in the construction and infrastructure sector is in a constant state and has not stopped, but rather is on the rise noting that the building and construction sector is one of the vital sectors responsible for employing nearly 20% of the national labor force, in various paragraphs. Activities and the continuation of a strong demand policy that helps sustain the provision of job opportunities. Business and human skills. Saleh pointed out that, Iraq currently enjoys a surplus in the current account of the balance of payments relative to the gross domestic product, which, in my personal estimation, is close to positive 10%, which is a high indicator that helps strengthen Iraq's balance of foreign currency reserves that support stability. Saleh continues, there are great hopes awaiting the launch of both the Iraq Fund for Development and the Investment Development Road Project. Thus, the meeting of positive factors in the path of economic life today outweighs many inherited negatives after the vision and the right path became clear in the path of development, which truly expresses an effective partnership between the state and the market or the private sector without neglecting the social goals of maximizing human happiness and well-being and providing life guarantees, which is the ideal goal that the state seeks now and in the future. And the representative of the Kurdistan Democratic Party, J. Taymur, confirmed, on Saturday, that the joint committees between the federal government and the regional government are continuing their meetings to resolve the draft oil and gas law. The Sudanese government is serious about sending the draft oil and gas law to parliament, Taymur said in an interview with Al Maloma Agency noting that, the relevant committees continue their meetings in the hope that they will finish drafting and refer it to Parliament. He added, dialogues are continuing to remove all differences facing the legislation of the law, pointing out that, the principles of the political agreement document signed by the parties to the state administration coalition include sending the oil and gas law six months after the formation of the government. He pointed out that there is a joint vision between the Baghdad government and the regional government to end the file of the oil and gas law and send it to the House of Representatives within the coming weeks. And the deputy of the State of Law Coalition, Ahmed Fawaz al Watafi, confirmed in a previous statement to al Maloma that the mechanisms for exporting oil from the Kurdistan fields are considered the knot of negotiations between Baghdad and Erbil. And the expert in economic affairs, Mustafa Akram Hantush, stressed the difficulty of cancelling dealing in dollars, especially since Iraq imports everything in hard currency. Hantush said in a press statement, the existence of the government's tendency to sell cars in Iraqi dinars instead of the US dollar is very difficult from a practical point of view, despite the government's attempt to impose pledges on exhibition owners and carry out a massive arrest campaign. He added, the decision from a practical point of view is difficult to implement, because the car trade passes through a global market that deals in hard currency, because we do not have the ability to manufacture cars inside Iraq, and we only have the Marmoudia factory. He pointed out that, large quantities of cars are imported from abroad and in the currency of the dollar, and therefore they are priced in hard currency 
and even if they are priced in dinars, this will be done on the basis of the last price of the dollar, and therefore the citizen will not benefit anything from the process of selling cars in dinars. And that, the central bank is trying to strengthen the currency by reducing access to the dollar by traders only. The government is trying to control the continuing rise in the exchange rate of the dollar against the Iraqi dinar in the market, about seven months after its official decision to raise the value of the Iraqi dinar at a price of 13.20 per dollar. The government had taken a decision last February to raise the value of the Iraqi dinar against the dollar, after its price at the end of 2020 reached 1,470 dinars per dollar. It was implemented by the previous government to bridge the deficit in expenses and salaries due to the drop in oil prices in global markets. The Ministry of the Interior prevented merchants and citizens from dealing in dollars in markets and shops, and restricted transactions to Iraqi dinars. It seems that the security solution to the rise in the price of the dollar in the parallel market inside Iraq did not achieve any significant results, but rather complicated the economic scene and led in part to a rise in prices in the Iraqi markets. Economic specialists point out that the market requires many measures to maintain the stability of the currency, most notably preventing smuggling and the total foreign currency sales by the Central Bank of Iraq CBI, reached around $1 billion during the past week. According to Shafak News Agency correspondent, CBI sold a total of $980,899,248 over the course of the previous week, covering five auction days. The average daily sales amounted to 196,179,849 dollars, marking a 0.22% increase compared to the preceding week's average of 195,739,862 dollars. Thursday witnessed the highest dollar sales at $198,800,354, while Monday recorded the lowest sales at $190,408,102. In addition to this, foreign remittance sales during the past week totaled $805,777,248, reflecting a 78% increase in comparison to cash sales which amounted to $175,122,000. Our correspondent clarified that these sales encompassed both cash transactions and foreign remittances, directed to finance foreign trade. Moreover, the selling rate for documentary credits and international settlements via electronic cards stood at 1,305 Iraqi dinars per dollar, while the rate for foreign remittance sales and cash sales reached 1,310 Iraqi dinars per dollar. Thanks take care.